Hey. Hey, guys. <laughs> My neck just popped when I said that. How's it going? Um, Megan and Amanda, we are your librarians at the Prairie Grove Public Library. And you we, remember us? Yeah. This is what we look like. Um, it's been so long, and but we wanted to get with you guys and do as much as we could um, with everything that's going on right now. But we did want to have a summer reading program with you. Um, it's just going to look a little different this year. We've got a, our computer. We're going to have everything virtual. Um, you'll be able to watch our videos on Facebook, and you should be able to upload them at any time. You don't have to catch them when we put our, publish them. Right now, what we want to talk about um, is a little bit, a, a couple things um, to go over. The summer reading program is different, obviously. It's going to be virtual this year. We'll have six weeks, so six different um, themes each week, or one different theme each week. And we'll be posting our videos Wednesdays at 1 o'clock. So be watching for those. Um, one thing we wanted to talk to you guys about, because even though you can't come here and we can't do the reading logs and we can't do our store like we usually do, we still want you guys to be rewarded for your reading. So um, the Washington County Library System is using a company called, it's called Read Squared. It's a website. You can go on there and create a um, profile for yourself and keep up with the amount of time that you read and for every 30 minutes that you log, you receive like a little badge um, in your account to kind of keep up with it. And for every 60 minutes that you read, you will receive a notification that you can stop by the library and pick up a prize. And guys, we ordered some cool ones this year before COVID hit. So um, you deserve to be rewarded. We need some normalcy to happen in our lives. So keep reading, keep up with it. You might as well and get some cool prizes. For um, like grand prizes and stuff, we've got some really neat things put together. So um, you're gonna want to win that. You really will. We have three put together, so there's only three of you that can win. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of you will be excited to do that. If you have any questions, either message us on Facebook or give us a call down here at the library. Um, eight your... four six three seven eight two. Yeah, that's, that might be there handy. Um, but yeah, we're happy to help and do whatever we can in any way that we can. Mm -hmm. So with that said, um, our theme this year is Imagine Your Story. We are going to be talking about all kinds of different things and doing all kinds of different um, crafts and science projects. The project that we want to do with you guys today kind of goes along with the story um, Jack and the Beanstalk, which we have filmed a video of that story on a felt board. You can check that out if you want. Um, and also but, our story time mm -hmm. video that will have our Beanstalk craft. Yeah, true. We have all kinds of stuff. And we are supplying everything you need for our mm -hmm. crafts and our science experiment. All you have to do is just come down to the library. We have a table outside that will have your little craft packets and experiment packets. If you'd like to reserve one, give us a call, mm -hmm. send us a message, anything like that. And it has everything in the packet that you will need to complete the project. Everything has been done. So, yeah, come get them. We will have them out there until we run out. So you're more than welcome to get them. Um, what we're going to be doing today is kind of cool. And it's something that's going to, we're going, we're going to keep track along for, you know, for the next couple of weeks and see how, we, how it grows. We are going to be doing a window sprout today um, out of a pinto bean. One thing that I kind of wanted to show you guys before, it's, this is called, a seed is the start and it just had a really good illustration that we wanted to show you guys before we got started and this they use a corn seed in this one but it still has about the same you know concept you can see Casey I'm looking underneath yep. um just the different stages of the sprout and what it looks like it's the first kernel and yeah. you can see as it germinates and the roots start growing, and then a sprout comes up, mm -hmm. and then you have a corn plant. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously we're not doing a corn plant. We're going to be using pinto beans. But yes. <laughs> you um, will we'll start to notice change in the bean in 24 hours. So after we do these today, make sure and hang them in your windows with the bean side out. And um, 
tomorrow, check back and see. And by next week, we'll, who knows what we'll see. Mm. It'll be crazy. But um, we have this cool little book. Where, this is where we got our science experiment from. It's Kitchen Science Lab for Kids. And it has all kinds of really awesome things. Um, I'm Obviously, I've marked quite a few projects. But this one's just one called The Window Sprout. It's really easy. It has all kinds of different information. The materials that you will need are paper towels, one paper towel folded in half. Um, it says scissors, but we don't, we've done everything for you. Um, a small resealable bag, water, <laughs> and, or, and uncooked dried beans, peas, or seeds. We picked pinto beans because we did. Um, it does say dried beans are a choking hazard for small children. Don't eat the beans. Don't eat them, guys. Mm -mm. Don't let your little sisters um, get These them. are just different ideas. This experiment will work best with beans that are not too old and haven't been irradiated. I guess. Yeah. I don't even know that word. Um, sorry. <laughs> you can soak them overnight before doing the experiment to make them sprout more quickly. Well, we did not do that. For this experiment... Um, choose a window where the beans you, you plant will get plenty of light, but won't be blasted by intense sun all day. All right. We good? We're ready. We're ready. That just doesn't sound right to me. Okay. First things first. Step one, cut the paper towel in half. It's been done. We just bought half sheets. Um... Fold it a few times so it will fit inside a plastic bag. That will fit just right here. Yes. Step two. Soak the paper towel with water and squeeze out the excess. Put it in the bag. Smooth it so that it's rev relatively flat. You can spray it. You can dip it in water and squeeze, squeeze all the water out of it. Um, it's up to you. Do what you want to do. We didn't have water handy. We had a spray bottle, so that's what we used. Like so. Step three. Plant two or three beans or seeds about one and one-fourth inches from the bottom of the bag on the same side of the paper towel. So make sure it's just a little, make sure the paper towel kind of goes underneath it a little bit. Don't worry if they don't stay in place, but if necessary, stuff a little piece of paper towel into the bottom of the bag so the seeds don't sit in water, because that will not be good for them. Step four, seal the bag part way, but leave an opening near the top so the plants can get some air. Okay, we're gonna leave part of it open. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they can breathe. Yeah, see, so yours should look about like this. And step five, tape the back to a window with the beans facing so you can watch them as they grow. All right, so you want to put those on your window. And it says they need to be facing out and not to have too, in too much intense sunlight throughout the day. You can just tape little pieces here or up here on the side that you closed. And then beans we'll just... facing in towards you. I told you wrong. I'm sorry, guys. So put the paper towel on the outside and the beans on the inside so they don't get too hot, okay? And that way you can also see it yes. as it's growing. Um, you don't yeah. have to go outside. So this is the science behind this. It says seeds, such as dried beans and peas, contain dormant baby plants. And dormant literally means sleeping. These tiny plants need certain signals to make them wake up and emerge from the seed. Germination is the name for the processes the embryonic plant goes through to sprout from the seed and forms and form leaves. Environmental signals that the plant need to germinate include adequate light, air, and water. So light needs the air and it has the water. Temperature can also play a role in germination, so it doesn't need to get too hot or too cold. Kind of picky, it's amazing they grow so well. When a plant first sprouts, it gets the nutrients it needs from the seed. In this experiment, you can see the seed shrink as the plant grows. As a plant matures, it will depend on roots and leaves to collect the energy it needs. Once it reaches a certain size and completely uses up the nutrients in the seed, you, your window sprout will have to be transplanted to a nutrient-rich soil to survive. 
So after the seed has kind of gone away and you'll, you'll see the sprout, we can plant these. You can plant these outside at your house and grow some beans. You can actually grow food. And this says, this is creative enrichment, enrichment, something you can do. Record the beans germination by drawing and measuring them each day. Record your data in a science notebook. What happens if you do the same experiment, experiment but put one bag of beans in a window and another one in a dark closet? Hmm. Mm. Maybe that's something to try. Maybe it's something we should do. So you could maybe take a magic marker and mark where your little sprout is each day mm -hmm. and see how much it'll grow. All right. And this is something that we're going to be checking on every single day. Mm -hmm. And, and we want to see pictures of yours, yeah. too. So definitely share with us. Yeah. In a me in a private message, on our feed, mm -hmm. anything. We want to see what you guys are doing. Send them to us and we'll post them. Whatever you want to do. We're more than welcome. Send us We're pictures of the books you're reading, too. Yeah. Or send it, just send us your picture. Yeah. Or videos um, talking about what you've been doing this summer, what you want to do. Um, what's your favorite food to eat that you've planted in your garden? How many of you have gardens? Um, these are just a couple different things that we're going to be talking about throughout the summer. It's kind of a wide variety of things um, that kind of go along with this theme. So we will definitely be watching our plants grow. And again, we have everything you need to make to do this experiment at the library. Um, you can message us and claim one. We will have it set out with your name on it. Or you can simply stop by and grab one during the hours that we are here. Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. 9.30 to 5. Yep. And they'll be outside on a table. Um, there's a couple of different things. There's um, packets that you can do that have just extra worksheets, fun things for you to do. Um, word searches, yeah. mazes, crossword puzzles. We know you guys are getting kind of bored. and There's not a lot to do. And they're still asking us to you know, kind of stay home. Um just get outside, do as much as you can. If you find anything cool, find some seeds, find some beans, you know, look for things and share, share them with us. Anything you want to share with us, we're happy to see, you know, check out. We'll share with the rest of, you know, our people, our patrons, our friends, and we'll get through it. It's going to be a fun summer. Well, it, I mean, and if you didn't watch our other video, um, big news happening outside the library today, our playground is being put up and we are very excited. You can actually so see excited. there are things that are upright. It's not all just flat now. It's upright. It's amazing. It's going to be awesome. So hopefully as soon as, um, more restrictions are lifted and we are able to do more together, you guys can come check out the playground. It'll be a lot of fun. Also right now we're, we are offering a curbside service. Mm -hmm. So you can call us and let us know. Um, books you want or movies you want and we will put those outside in a bag for you guys to pick up so if you ran out of reading material if you're getting bored and you need a fun movie give us a call at the library and we can get you a fun bag of books and movies and brighten up your day and That's we'll be we happy do. to see you yeah it's what we do i'm tired of seeing her but look at our cool background guys isn't this beautiful something we picked out especially for y'all yeah <laughs> okay well we're gonna let you go now um we miss you where if you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see us do, um, book reviews, you have any book recommendations, questions, anything, guys, we're here. We're here to help. Our doors may not be open right now. Hopefully, they're going to open again pretty soon, and hopefully, life will get back to normal. Yeah. We we'll miss keep, it. Yeah. We'll keep you updated. Do what we can. We love you. We miss Bye, you. Guys. We'll see you all later. Bye.